Hello. What I find the most amusing is like, people who sub to streamers thinking that we owe them something. We don't owe you anything. God knows how long you were watching us before you decided to sub. And sorry we don't meet your standard of streaming every single day. But uh, it's just funny you see comments like, this is why I'm never gonna subscribe to a streamer because you just never know they're not gonna put out enough content. And it's like, bro, you're shipping five bucks a month. A fucking month. And they, and they can stream for five days a week, eight hours a day, eight by five, 40 hours a week. It's a fucking full-time job. And you're giving them five dollars and they only get half of that? And you think they owe you something? Shut the fuck up. No! We just lost $27, like that is a lot of money when you think about it. Isn't that a scary thought? How easily I can lose money? Easy regen here. Alright, we've got a flip. Good start. Dicey turn. Ah, Rip bounty, I lose a small one. Connor's got a lot to learn about boxing, you know, it's a lot different to just like, stand up MMA. There are more rules in place, but I'm just a fanboy, what the fuck do I know? Easy iso jam here. Chippy V, aim we cover him for the bounty. Good luck, Ace 10. Alright, good spot. Hold. Hold. Yes! 18.75. Oh wait, we cover them both. Wait, small blinds? Probably never calling here. If I jam, right? Yeah, we're gonna jam this here. We got them both covered. King 10 of diamonds. I mean, just a fantastic spot if small blinds trapping here. But he's not when he tanks this long. King? Jack of diamonds? Jack King. Oh wait, no. A king wouldn't even be good anymore. We lose a little bit. Not too bad. Guys, we're taking it back to the old school days. It got to a point where I would drink these every day and something happened inside my stomach. I don't know what it was. It was like, it changed my stomach. My stomach was able to actually feed off of this virus. It actually filled me. It's really tough to explain. And when you when you don't drink it for so long and you drink it again, it hurts the stomach. You gotta get yourself ready for it again. You gotta drink it like a fortnight straight to start enjoying it. Anyway, let's open it up. That's a weapon. Smells so fruity. Oh, they bite you! I like the song, bro. If button jams, I'm still getting it in. Easy regen. I'm gonna tank because I want the big blind to call. I want him to call. Alright. Fun hands is fun. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go, bro. 1875. Oh my god, we're hand for hands. How sick is that, mate? We might just min cash. Hey, we made the money. I'm gonna kill the music, guys. Really wicked YouTube highlight if we can make a deep run. Look at us chipping up. We doing it. Another new table. Pog champ. The hooks. Oh my god, call. Call big blind. Bounty. Boonty. Dang it. You fucking what, mate? I wouldn't touch Miley. Look, I find Miley revolting, but I would, I would definitely, definitely cuddle her. And, you know. If things escalate, let them escalate. We're all men at the end of the day, right? This guy has a $353 bounty, bro. That's a down payment on a fucking house right there. I'm gonna call and lead every flop um, to increase my misclick equity for him. Alright, our hand's too strong here. Guaranteed 109.12. One day I'll have a daughter and I'll regret every second of the idiot comments I left on Twitch. In the 10 we misclick, fold. The good thing about that turn is we couldn't lose the pot. Oh, I meant to make that 28.94 for fuck's sake. Well hopefully he levels himself into folding a shark right now some shit. We're always gonna call him off anyway so hopefully big blind fucks off. Ace. Sixty-seven, ninety-seven. This guy three x it, which kind of looks weak to me. I think a three x is like he's trying to say, "Listen, I got a hand. Don't three bet me here." So I'll three bet him. Gonna jam here. A lot of money in the middle. If he calls here, you know, and we're like an underdog, the bounty makes it decent. If small blinds trapping here, GG, well played, dude. Uh, that should easily be a 3 bet jam, by the way. 90-23. Alright, easy call. Yeah, we're still calling here. 3 to 1, we need 25% multi away. Definitely calling. Um, even without bounties here. 
That pair is really strong. I expect this guy to lead all of his queens because he seems pretty spewy and just like doesn't really think. I want to raise it pretty bad because I think he's just blocker burning right now. So I'm going to treat this like a check and raise it up. I don't expect him to like donk jam a queen x hand. He might donk jam like a flush draw, but when he calls here I'm going to um, check back now and just hope he doesn't turn a hand like ace jack into a bluff. I think he would jam ace jack preflop though. So he might have a hand like 3x. I don't think he ever has a queen. I mean, fingers crossed he doesn't have like king 5, ace 5 right now. It's not looking great though. Because I think he jams the most strong aces preflop. So fingers crossed he has like 3, 4 suited. Ace 5. I could have turned my hand into a bluff and bet the turn, but... Yeah, maybe that is the play. He never has a queen there. I should probably go bet, bet, bet. You know, it's just a strong play. I know it looks spewy, but it's also like a play that's going to work a lot. Good luck guys. Final table with the 82. Sitting fourth here. As our boy... Knocks out a kid and we ladder up with a binkage on the river. Alright guys, we're gonna defend here. When he checks, we probably win now. And we're looking at call by like Queen Jack, right? I think he's still heroes here with every pair. Big up Queens. I feel like he's three of it anyway. Yeah, we're never not jamming it here. I'm probably still jamming kings here because I assume it's just dirty. Hopefully it's not ace-king because I don't want to flip here. Alright, we have the best hand, which is not a huge surprise. Hmm. We check back in our best this turn, which is really uncomfortable. Probably over-bluffing there. Open up. Jack and I suited my favorite hand in poker. Prefer the spade variety, but uh, can't complain. We're live. We have two pair. We have a boat. Get wrecked. One hundred and nine dollars and fifty-seven cents. All right, good spot. Alright guys, $112.50, GG to Acumen. Nice regen. Save dust chips. Oh my god, jam it. This guy will regen so much wider for the bounty, that would have been a fucking perfect spot. Oh guys, that one hurts a lot. Can you imagine the cutoff, like, if he's meant to jam there, so often. Definitely calling here. Gotta go for value. Oh my god, we have another monster in the big blinds. And this guy has less than two bigs. If you have a heart, you will jam here. Boy, I'm snapping off any re-jams like you have no fucking clue. I'm trying to figure out if I jam or make it 28k instead. I think jamming's better. Alright guys, big bounty, 176.95. God, I just, I hate three but folding such a pretty hand. He's been pretty solid, so I just go for the flat here. I'm definitely floating once here, with a backdoor nut flush on king high. I don't think he calls with a jack here, which I think he has a lot when he checks turn. If he pot control with an ace on the turn, that's a good play. Okay. Vape Nation, obviously. Give me a pretty decent price right now. I don't even think he folds Ace King if I donk shove because it looks way too draw heavy. It's always gonna be a check shove with an open ender. I don't see him folding here enough. I don't know why he's tanking, unless he has complete air. Alright, Queen 1087. Nice. GG to um, wait, don't pop. 7734. And just like that, we're heads up. I'm gonna check this back like a basic bitch. I'm gonna check this back because he knows I have a capped range here, and I definitely don't want a reg check raising here. So I'm gonna avoid that spot entirely by taking somewhat a nitty check back. Um, it's gonna be really tough to get value from worse hands here when he checks anyway, so. 
All we're really doing is opening ourselves up to check raises. Whereas we check back here, we can allow him to bluff and we can also get this hand to showdown and see what he was checking there twice with. Go small. This is interesting when we get check raised because if he has a hand like Queen 10 right now, that is like a really disgusting spot. But I don't think I can bet forward here. I'm gonna check this back with our pretty good hands. Would prefer the eight of clubs, but beggars can't be choosers. So if he if he would bet that river, I would definitely call because I don't know how often he would value bet Queen 10 with a Queen of Hearts there. I think the hand might play better as a bluff catcher to be honest. Because I'm still calling there with like King 10, King Queen with the heart. Three and a half X to every limp when I want to raise. No larger, no smaller. Go half pot. I would have sized it larger if I was able to shove turn. The good thing about betting smaller here as well is it allows him to bluff more. Not going anywhere here. And if he checks, I'll check it back. If he bets, I'll jam it like a basic bitch. A lot of players snap jam their flush draws. I want to tank jam it. Because I take the same line with my strong hands. I gotta get the club. Unfortunate. Definitely see betting here. It's a really dry board though. I'm gonna check this back. Turn card is really good for his range. We should have very few 10s here because we're see betting 10 9. So I'll go a little bit larger here. And I'll go half pot. Thought about making it like 14 2. Game flow wise, we shouldn't be getting out of line too often here, so that's why I like the race. And I'll go for a double barrel here. 30 bigs versus limp. We jam here, we increase our stack by like a little under 10%. Can't be terrible, right? Even though it looks really face up. Might better to check it back. We dislike a lot of runouts, um, but he is going to limp stab a lot on this board, so I think we have to call twice. I mean, a lot gets there for us flushes. We have 3 4, we have ace right, so valley bets. I want to bluff now, because we don't really have. He puts us on a stone called bluff there, obviously. But I think we have flushes, all the two pairs there. Like, my bluffs are. It's just not, not many. King X with the King of Diamonds. Loose ish call from him. Down to 20 bigs. Now I'm going to lead this board. Blocking 8 9 is decent. decent. Um, he's going to have a lot of checkbacks uh, uh, with a lot of better hands than us as well. Jump in here with a limp. And I'll check this back. And I'll just take Jack out of Jack Hyde to show down here. He would jam all of his ace x pre, so if he's not holding a pair here, we usually have the best hand. I don't see him validating an 8 ever. I think he can only validate a queen there as the worst hand. Worst three months of my life. Take it down, Parvsicle. Yeah, so bonafide. Thank you for the three months in a row, dude. Gonna double barrel here. Can't fire three times. I didn't think he was gonna fold. Pick that shadow value as well. Easy call here. He has it. We need a six here to stay alive. GG. We won that big flip. We had a flush draw onto Overzoos. A pair. If we win that flip, that's like 1700 in equity because he has $700 bounty, I had $700 bucks, plus a $300 difference for first. At the same time, finishing second is a pretty awesome result. You know, we made $1,518 today. Uh, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna kill the stream now. I had a fun stream, four hour session. This will be a highlight on my YouTube channel, so guys, subscribe to my channel, helps out a bunch. Anyway, guys, you've been awesome. See you tomorrow. Good luck at the felt. GG.